All right, MetaFam, in today's video, we are gonna update on the FINRA website, how they have interesting codes on there, talking about trading resume from the halt. So we're gonna go over that. And we also got Ham the Short Killer being pretty active on Twitter, uh, giving his thoughts and opinions. And we gotta keep going with the FINRA stuff as well. So first things first, if you have not watched here, uh, Roger James Hamilton had John, Bur John Berta, Jeremy Frommer, Christina Koblen, Mark Fault, and here on the Roundtable live stream, he says, thank you to everyone who joined our first Naked Shorts Roundtable live stream. Watch replay here, and he gives the link. Now, real quick, huge shout out to John Berta for this. I don't know if someone has a picture down here of it. No, I don't see it. But John Berta was rocking the MMTLP backdrop. Uh, so huge props to John Berta on that. Uh, yeah, so make sure you go check that out. All right. Lorenzo here posted, uh, why would FINRA test a warrant notice on their live? Is this to do that? Do they do this on the regular? And here we got Pro Street Art confirming this, which he has some great videos out, by the way. So go check him out if you haven't. Great find. I confirm this. MMTLP, confirm for yourself. And if you click on that link, It'll take you to this right here. Now I'm gonna, oh my box not in the way, but yeah, here you can see test J warrant test, halt code T3 OTC equity trade resume. That was today, 123. Here we can see test J warrant test, U1 OTC equity halt, 123, 1441. So interesting stuff here on the FINRA website. Now, speaking of FINRA, Medicare News has a post out here, FINRA is in legal trouble. Financial Industry Regulatory Authority that's supposed to protect retail investors is doing the opposite. FINRA illegally approved the company's preferred shares to trade on the OTC market. So there's a bunch of stuff down here. Uh, FINRA also currently has a subpoena that will be made to the public soon out of Washington, D.C. Fender currently has a lawsuit with a request preliminary injunction relief. Fender currently has emergency temporary restraining order against him. Why? All right. Ham Short Killer has been very active here on Twitter. Let's get here and talk about this. So we got Gas Pipe here says, Ham Short Killer, what are your back office and street guys saying off the record about MMTLP timeline? The street is F. In street language, <laughs> I love that. So the street is effed in the street language. They have no choice but to settle. That's it. Sorry for the foul language, you asked. And he tagged MMTLP and John Berta. So yeah, uh, pretty straightforward. What's the street saying? They are effed. Uh, so thank you, Ham, for uh, giving us that update there. All right. We got another post here, Charles Darwin. Will MMTLP trade again or a settlement? Thanks. Ham Shortkiller says, which we touch base on this. He says, Fender has been served. I believe they have no choice. Soon we will hear. They can't protect crooks. Wow. Uh, awesome again, Ham. Thank you so much for your thoughts and opinion. As you know, uh, Ham Shortkiller is uh really good friends with john berta uh he's been in the twitter space chats every time ham is in there he delivers the goods uh so exciting stuff there when you hear ham talking about these amazing tweets there uh ham has been very active if we go to his page right here i just want to go down some of his stuff uh talking here about ticker symbol hlbz as you know is another uh stock that has got share intel to start the process about the naked synthetic shares and he basically says here they need a dividend or the company will basically uh not do good so there you go that's that opinion there uh he also has a post out here here's fender for monthly fines for its members who all seem not to obey any rules they all blame the system error on the common sense and what's this here Scroll down here and see if it has it broken down into. Oh, yeah. Here, oh, never mind. Here we go. I see how it is. Clearview Trading Advisories. 
The firm was censored and fined $100,000. And Etten was fined $25,000. Gives me more of the details in here of what they did. Uh, FFEC Wealth Partners, First Financial Equity, uh, Jeffrey Scott here. And AWC was issued to the firm and censored fine $35,000, ordered to pay $112,672 plus interest and restitution to its customers. Graves was fined $5,000. Now, you hear about these fines and the money that the Fender is charging them, but they probably made millions, millions and millions of dollars, and they're only paying a couple hundred thousand here in fees. Uh, Western firms fine. Western International Securities. An AWC was issued, which the firm censored and fined $400,000 in order to pay $471,401 plus interest and restitution and partial restitution to customers. Keep on going down here. Superior Financial Services in Jackson, Wisconsin, November 2nd. AWC was issued to the firm was fined $5,000 without admitting or denying the findings. The firm consented to the sanction and to the entry of the buildings that it failed to conduct annual independent testing of its AML compliance program. Weedbush Securities, uh, they were fined $850,000. Weedbush, I know that name sounds very familiar. Vanguard Marketing here, Malvern, Pennsylvania, uh, they were fined $50,000. Credit Swiss of New York, New York, they were fined $375,000. Bostead Securities fined $35,000. And the list, as you see here, guys, this keeps going on and on. Uh, this is what I'm saying. They get these fines, but what was the, uh, you know, how much did they make in return to that? All right, yeah. Now, speaking here about the peaceful protests coming up uh, this Friday and Saturday down in D.C., uh, Ham here says the truck has filled up the gas tank, ready to roll GTII, New York City to DC. So apparently this truck is going to be going from New York City to DC. Now I'm going to be excited to see this truck. Uh, I'm going to do my best to see if I can get down there on Friday. Uh, I may try to switch up my days for this. Uh, I was originally planning on going Saturday, but some things are coming up. So I'm doing my best to see if I'm able to make it Friday instead for a few hours. So uh, some things come up. I'm doing my best to get down there. Uh, I will I will be down there at least for a couple of hours to possibly get some video, do a couple quick interviews, uh, maybe even live stream for a little bit just to interact with people. I'm excited to meet people down there. Uh, comment down below this video if you're going to be at the D.C. peaceful protest. Uh, I'd like to see who of the viewers is going to be there. Uh, get to meet people, get some pictures, maybe do a little video and all that, and uh, have a good time. So, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Peace.